A brand new article with Louis Barletta came out a few days ago. A few people asked for an updated video from our last video, so I wanted to answer these five questions that Louis cleared up in this article. With the most important question being answered later in this video, is Louis Barletta and the Android team starting a new company? Jacob Skateboarding Magazine released an interview with Louis the day after he left Android Skateboards. I'm gonna link that entire video down below. This is gonna be more of a summarized conversation, but here are the entire article linked down in the description. Question one, is Android Skateboards dead? In Louis's words, that's for the fans to decide. The destiny of the brand is in the hands of the buying power of the fans that built the brand. Question two, did the change of ownership help or hurt Enjoy? Louis's exact quote from the interview is, when the new corporation bought us out, it was like we were all just numbers. Enjoy was owned by Globe before 2019, which is also a larger corporation. However, Louis talked about his experiences with working for a larger corporation that had the best interest of skateboarders, and he had nothing but good things to say about them. He once visited the Globe offices, and he even stated that one of the owners of the Globe not only took the time to say hello to him, but was skating their company mini ramp on his lunch break. They understood skateboarding, the culture that it brings, and the importance of keeping it skater run. The latest transition for Enjoy was not the same. Last spring, following the successful Enjoy Skateboards High Wire demo tour, team manager Jeff Davis was fired, and the justification was there was nobody filling that position when we acquired the business. Lou stated that everything was sales and forecast driven, putting out content, especially rad content, was no longer a priority. One of the biggest questions people in the comments had were, it seems like they couldn't sell boards, so they couldn't pay riders. But Louis stated that, I was seeing what we were selling and none of it was coming back to us. That's the part that was draining my soul. Question three, did Louis get fired from Enjoy Skateboards? No, Louis left Enjoy Skateboards after months of trying to balance the relationship with a new corporation and the skater built brand that Enjoy once was. He stated that the last few months had been horrible. Team riders weren't getting paid, and the response from the corporation was, we didn't hit our sales target this week, this month, or any other sales related excuse. Photographers and videographers continued to contact Louis asking when they would get paid, and he said he just couldn't take it any longer. Louis even said, I felt everyone was just hanging on because they believed in me, but I guess I stopped believing in the company. Louis left with the idea that everyone else was gonna stay and that maybe him leaving would help some other riders actually get paid again. Question four, did Louis ask the rest of the team to leave and joy? No, he stated in the interview that he didn't even speak to them about him quitting. As a leader, he refused to complain to the other riders on Enjoy. The only advice he gave them was if they had a spot to go that they could actually get paid, that they should definitely take the opportunity. Months before Louis left Enjoy, he even told them, I'm gonna stay and if we turn this thing around, no hard feelings, you can come back whenever. Even when Louis saw the ship burning, he still chose to look out for the team riders because the corporation was never going to do that. Question five, is Louis and the Android team starting a new company? The short answer, yes. Louis created a website called Jacuzzi Unlimited. Many assume that it could be a new company, it could be a new brand, and a few of you even called it out down in the comments. The name comes from Cairo Foster and Ron Whaley. Back in Louis's touring days, after he would skate all day, if there was a hotel with a jacuzzi, he would spend so much time in it that he actually got the nickname Jacuzzi Lou. He said on tour, teammates would even ask, is Jacuzzi Lou gonna make an appearance on this trip? When asked if this was a new brand or a joke thing, Louis responded, we have a team that is raring to go to. There are plenty that are fired up on it, so now that I'm officially moving on, it's definitely something that we're gonna have to go full on with. He even states that we're not gonna be a garage style brand, but we've been in conversations so that they can launch this thing properly. They're working on a video which Louis has already confirmed he has clips in, and his dream for the company is to make sure that it makes dreams real for the next wave of young rippers. So, Jacuzzi Unlimited, when do you think that they will have boards out? Are they boards that you're gonna end up purchasing? There's also been a rumor that Jeff Davis, who is the team manager of Enjoy, is gonna step over and work alongside Louis at Jacuzzi Unlimited. And what are your thoughts about Enjoy Skateboards? Do you think they're gonna continue on? Do you think that they may just be a company that has boards in Walmart and they'll never have a team again? Please go ahead, comment down below and let me know. What about the other companies at Dwindle Distribution? Do we think they will end up dwindling as well? If you wanna know more about those companies such as Monarch and you wanna win a free deck from Monarch, make sure to check out this video right here to do so.